Hey guys! Delia Varzariu wants to know when is the next Try Living with Lucy speed recap coming? It's now. So when I'm going through the videos and I'm editing them and putting them together, I want to include everything, but inevitably really funny stuff gets cut out of the footage. So this episode will answer some of your questions, make you laugh, make you smile, and that's it. The first episode we need to talk about is five days of DIY. You guys remember when I did a different do-it-yourself project every day and my Friday was making DIY infused olive oils. And at the end, after they cooled, when I was pouring them into those nice glass jars that you saw, I realized that I could stand up like about 10 feet over the bottle and a stream of olive oil would still go directly into the bottle's hole. And then I just kept standing up higher and higher and higher and higher until I was standing on the chair and the stream of olive oil was still <laughs> entering the hole. Ah, it's not even spilling! And I wanted to put that in the cut, but it was just TMI, so I'm telling you now. I got a ton of comments about the crafts that I did and how people are so excited to make them as gifts, and those were really great, but this comment really stood out to me. It's from KFC Colonel Buttonholes. God damn, I just want to smash you from every which way possible. You'd be a top-notch porn star. I had no idea what to say to that one, so instead I just needed to expose it for all of you to hear. Maybe you guys can help me respond to KFC Colonel Buttonholes. Five days of rejuvenation, that was my first video of 2017, and while most of the comments on that video were about rejuvenating and recharging, I also got so many comments of people saying that my lips look different. Marmel said, your lips look so different, dot dot dot. And it got 77 thumbs up. It's officially 2017, and I am totally exhausted after the holidays. I have nothing against lip fillers, but I did not get my lips filled. They looked different because Drum roll, please. I was wearing Kylie lip kit. Candy K. There's a liner and a matte gloss. This is me before. Matte gloss. You see, I didn't inflate them. I just kylie them. Five days of self-love. So we did the scene outside where I was walking behind my producer, Max, and he's whistling and whistling, and I'm trying to get by him. In the video, you see one take of it, but in real life, we shot it like four times because I couldn't stop laughing. Excuse me, sorry, I'm not supposed to laugh. Cry. Sorry, I'm trying my hardest. back so bottom line, if I had to be an actress, I would probably ruin the shoot nine times out of 10. Erica Young was so excited that I had a twin sister and wanted to know if we can please feature her more on this channel. The answer is yes. I'm Lucy. And I'm Allie. And we're twins. twins. I really want to involve her because I know you guys really care about our twin relationship and she's my best friend in the whole world, so I will do what I can. Five days of astrology. The Astro Twins. I tried to include as much from my interview with them as possible because they were just amazing. One little piece that we had to cut out that I just need to share with you guys is the Astro Twins' ability to pull out celebrity signs. Demi Lovato. Leo. Beyonce. Virgo. Michelle Obama. Capricorn. Capricorn. What? <laughs> this is a map of where all the planets were at your exact moment of birth. Maria F. wants to know, is the planet map technically unique because you're a twin. I don't know that much about space, but I do know that the planets move very quickly and a birth chart is where all of the planets were the moment you were born. And even for twins, they're likely not born at the exact same minute. And my sister and I were one minute apart. Five days of facing my fear. Oh. Friday was one of my favorite parts. Of course, I faced my bug fear. And there was that moment where I was holding Penelope, the tarantula, in my hand. She's so light. And we didn't show this in the video, but I almost dropped her. And I was like, ha! Ah! She almost fell, and I was so afraid to drop her because Ryan the bug man was telling me that all it really takes is someone dropping it on the floor for it to really just die. Also, in Five Days of Facing My Fears, when I did that moment where I read the negative internet comments, I didn't really know what to expect. That was just a fear of mine, that was that. And I put it on Instagram, 
and I was completely overwhelmed by the outpour of love that I received from my fans and followers after showing them the negative comments I had received. I got a comment from someone named Stephanie.Sebastian who told me that she used to blog but she stopped because she could not take the negative comments on the internet and I encouraged her to get back at it because haters are gonna hate. For every single hater out there, there are hundreds upon hundreds of lovers. And I love you all. Five days on an adventure, we went to Costa Rica. Oh my God! What you guys saw in the video was sort of like this highly polished view of our trip to Costa Rica. But you're in the middle of the Costa Rican jungle, so there were geckos all over the walls. <laughs> Andrew had to do gecko extraction removal service from my bedroom four times. No animals were harmed in the making of this gecko removal service video. There were like squirrels flying from the trees. We saw these horses and horses don't like me. Andrew went to pet the horse and the horse like kind of sidled up to him and let him get close. And then I reached my hand out and the horse is like, nope. Okay. <laughs> In Five Days of Creativity, Pierre Gilardi, the creative director of Refinery29, pops up on my shoulder. Hi, Lucy. And in my hand, and she's giving me all these tips. But if you're wondering how we filmed that, this video is for you. We used a green screen, and I actually think it's more funny to watch the video of Pierre standing on the green screen. Hi, Lucy. Oh, oh, oh. And makes you just feel, oh, woo! Good? I want you guys to know that I read and try to respond to every single comment I can. Your comments and suggestions mean everything to me and I love you all with every morsel of my being. Please keep commenting, let me know what you wanna see next time. Send me your feedback, direct message me on Instagram, at Lucy B. Fink, tweet me at Lucy B. Fink, add me on Snapchat, at Lucy Fink. I'm really, really fun on Snapchat. I just wanna be your friends and get to know you and make videos that make you smile. So please join the conversation and I'll see you next time. Hey YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Lucy B. Fink and click right here to subscribe to Refinery29 on YouTube, here to watch another video, and here to subscribe to my personal YouTube channel. See ya!